Right, okay guys, welcome to a feature I have called Games Water Broken. <laughs> now, a lot of people will probably down thumb this video and say that's a lot of crap, but uh, please just bear with me. Um, Cauldron, released in 1985 by Polis, P Polis Palace Software even. I bought this game on the Commodore 64, this is the C64 version by the way. It's got to be one of the probably prettiest Commodore 64 games. The graphics are just beautiful looking. It's got a great musical soundtrack, which you can hear. And the sound effects, I mean it ticks all the boxes, it absolutely ticks all the boxes. Just let me set up the joystick back and tick. Right, okay, that's the joystick set up. Let's start and play. Before thou... Oh, too late. Now, you play the part of a, a hag, for want of a better word. Now, I'm not quite sure, I think you've got to collect spells or something, I'm really not quite sure of what you've got to do in the game. But you can, you can walk along the bottom, like I'm doing. Now that little flashing thing basically revives your energy. If you look at the top, you'll see it says magic 99%. It never actually goes to 100% oddly, it's always just 99%. Now you've got one, two, three, eight, nine lives. Now you're probably thinking that's awful generous, but when I actually start to play it, you'll realise nine lives is simply not enough. Now, like I said, graphically this game is beautiful. It's probably one of the prettiest looking Commodore 64 games in my opinion. Certainly for a 1985 game, you know, it really is. It's a beautiful looking game. But, and it is a big, big but, the difficulty of this game is just ridiculous. Now, to take off, you press up. Now, if you press up when you're under the trees, you die, like so. Oh, I'm now in the, the sky. The, the, the sound effects in this game are beautiful. They really are. It's a wonderful, wonderful, you know, the, the graphics, sound, everything about it is wonderful. But, looking at the magic, you start at 99%. And when you uh, when you hit a body or hit one of the bats, your uh, energy drops by ten. Now you can see that I'm down to thirty six percent already. <laughs> I was at thirty six percent and I'm now dead. So basically, when a body comes in contact with you, you lose ten percent. And look at that! I'm standing still. Fifty four, thirty nine. Could be there. You were dead. Now if that's not mo sort of difficult enough, when you fire, let's take off and fire, you lose energy, you lose 1% of your magic every time you fire. Now the only way you can possibly kill these baddies is by shooting them. And if you don't shoot them you lose energy, but you do shoot them you lose energy. So it's just, it's nonsense, absolute nonsense. I just, I, I mean, you've, you've really got to question whether they actually bother to play the game because they've, they've done so much hard work and this game would be a thousand times better. It'd be one of the probably the most perfect games if they had just changed the way, well, you know, the way you lose the energy. For, for starters, don't make you lose energy when you shoot. You know, what shoot them up makes you lose energy when you fire. You know, that's just daft. Secondly, taking 10% off you. Now the thing is, as quickly as you're shooting these guys, I mean look here, right, I'm all, I'm on 99% energy. Now I'm going to try and run and take off, so go! Run, 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 try and get to a little clearing, because you've got to get to a clearing before you can take off. Right, there you go, I mean I've just literally taken off and I'm down to, every time I fire, I'm down to 22% energy already. So really, I think the, the strategy here is to just try and avoid rather than shoot. It's just insanely, insanely difficult. I would, I would be tempted to bet my mortgage that nobody could actually complete this game without cheating. And what makes it even more difficult is you'll see there you've got inertia. So. Damn it. So 
to land, you've got to go into a gap. I see, I mean, the graphics are beautiful, they really are, and it, it used to really pain me that I couldn't really play this game because I wanted to play it. It's a beautiful looking game, but it's just insanely difficult. It's not insanely difficult, it's impossible, I would say. And for that reason, I would say it's a broken, broken game because games have got to be fun, they've got to be doable. And I mean, you can't even shoot when you're walking along here, you're still at the mercy of baddies. As you can see there, they're taking off. Or can they get to me? Oh, yeah, I think they can, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get to the little magic thing. Okay, back up to 99%. Let's take off. Ah, oh, damn it. It's even not very clear as to what little bit. You've got to be in a complete clearing. If you've got anything above you at all, you can't take off. So the only way to enjoy this game, and I suggest you do do it if you've got a, a, a ROM, you know, there's cheat modes on it. This is the only way you could possibly complete this game is by putting in either infinite lives on or, you know, making yourself invulnerable, something like that, which completely ruins the, the point of the game, in my opinion. But yeah, it's, it's with a heavy heart that a game that looks this good, that uh, sounds this good, it's got a fantastic atmosphere, that because of the just the ridiculous difficulty, and it's not even, oh, you can get good at it, I would love to see somebody actually play this game. There you go, thy quest has failed, do not dismay, thou may succeed another day, reach the pumpkin's deadly room and win thyself thy golden broom. So anyway, Palace Software, you came out with an epic, epic game, beautiful graphics, beautiful sound effects, um, and then you went and ruined it by making it absolutely impossible to play, and for that reason, I am going to call this a game what is broken. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.